Okay, so today I'm scrolling on Instagram and I come across Lizzo and check out what she says right here. She released an Instagram story. I just finished showering and doing my little routine and you know what I realized? I am fucking gorgeous. I am the beauty standard. Catch up, bitch. Wow. Okay, so she said, she calls herself the beauty standard. Um, she says, I'm sorry that my perfect face and rocking body offends you. I can't help it. She also says, I can't help it. I'm God's favorite. So let me ask you this. Is Lizzo trolling? Is she providing entertainment value? Or is she serious? I mean, listen, if Lizzo is trolling, okay, it makes sense. It's funny. Um, maybe she just wants some likes. She wants some clicks. She wants people talking about her. That's very common in pop culture today, in music, in arts, and entertainment. I'm not sure if it's entertainment value. Um, I don't know. I think entertainment value is when you're contributing something to the entertainment world. So I'm not sure trolling is entertainment value. But let's say, is she serious? If she is serious, I mean, let's take her at face value. I mean, to me, that sounds pretty narcissistic, okay? That's one problem I have in entertainment right now, in music right now. It's all about me, 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 me. Look at me. I'm number one. Have you ever noticed when artists come out today or entertainers, it's always about like a metric system like, wow, I have a million followers or my song is number one or I'm on, you know, number one on Spotify viral playlist. See, it's, it's always about where they are in a chart position. The artists before never bragged about chart positions. They were bringing people together, okay? So that's one big problem I have in music is this narcissistic, um, this narcissistic personality of where they demand your attention. But here's the thing, Lizzo, okay? She's basically saying, here's my body, it's rocking. Again, I'm not gonna judge Lizzo. But here is the thing, she's not a thin girl, okay? Um, she's actually, I would say, uh, you know, medically, they would label her obese, okay? And obesity is not something that you want to promote, all right? If you've ever been to a doctor before, they take your blood levels, they look at your weight. If they find that you're overweight, your BMI index is off, they will say, please lose weight, what are the causes of obesity? It's, I mean, it's mortality, it's high blood pressure, it's high cholesterol, it's type two diabetes, it's coronary heart disease, it's stroke, gallbladder disease, breathing problems, mental illness, um, body pain. I mean, so listen, there is, a, there is a host of symptoms when it comes to obese people. Again, I'm not judging. I've been to the doctors before and he's like, Dean, your stomach's a little big, I think you need to lose some weight, looking at my overall health all right so i mean so so i mean what's what's the problem here like why why do and, and here's the thing lizzo is coming out calling herself the beauty standard here ask yourself what is the standard yes the standard is being thin being in shape and you should love your bodies but you also cannot deconstruct reality where you're looking at obesity and calling it healthy. So that's what I take away is, again, it's important to someone that they are confident, they have a good self-esteem, all right? You don't want to look in the mirror and be like, wow, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm horrible, no one's going to like me, I can't contribute to society. No, 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 that's not what you should be doing. But on the other hand, there is body improvement. There is behavioral improvement, okay? We just can't take our flaws and saying, you know what? My flaws are the standard. This is the problem that I have.